in today's video, we'll look at a few examples, uh, four in particular, uh, where we'll try to group zeros in a Carnot map to find the simplified product of some expression. So let's start with first a three variable Carnot map. So uh, what we'll do in these exercises is basically start out with a Carnot map that's already filled. And we'll goal of these videos uh, of this video is primarily to find groups of zeros and come up with a simplified uh, product of some expression. So let's start with this. We have three variables A, B, C. So we have an eight cell Carnot map. So let's try to find the largest group of zeros here. So we see two corners right here. Uh, they're adjacent to each other. Uh, those two uh, cells have both A is equal to zero. B changes, but they both also have C is equal to zero. So the Boolean expression for that cell or those two cells or that blue group is A or C. Now, the other group of zeros, largest group of zeros I see is at the bottom right here, these two groups right there. So if we group them across these two cells, across these two cells, we see a is equal to 1, so we'll write that as not A. We see B is equal to 0, since we're writing the max terms, we'll write down not A or B. And the simplified product of some expression now is basically this max, this term ended with that term. So Y equals not A or B ended with A or C. So that was the first example. Next example, let's start out with uh, basically a four variable uh, Carnot map. So we're going to do a four variable. So here's a four variable Carnot map, uh, A, B, C, D, so 16 cells in total. Again, our goal is to find the largest possible grouping of zeros. So let's do. We have one group of four. That group has A equals zero. C is equal to zero, so we'll write that as A or C. We have another group right here of four. That group has B is equal to one. It also has C is equal to one. A and D change across those four cells. So that group basically belongs to, since B is equal to one, we write that as not B. And since C is equal to one, we write that as not C. So we'll write that as not B or not C. Uh, we see a group of four right here like this, but since all the zeros there are covered, let's not try to group it because it will lead to an extra, uh, extra expression. So the only zero that I see not covered so far is this zero and that zero. So let's start with this zero. I see that this zero can be in a group with that zero because this cell is adjacent to that cell. So let's try to create that group, and that group has a that changes, B does not change, so B, C does not change and it's equal to 0, so C, D does not change and it's equal to 1, so not D. So it basically is B or C or not D. Now we only have one zero left to cover. That zero can be in a group of two with that zero right there, so we can create a group of two, and in that group, B is equal to 1, so we'll write that as not B. C is equal to 0, so we'll write that as C. D is equal to 0, so we'll write that as D. So the overall Boolean expression for this, in terms of the product of sums, is the blue group, which is A or C, the red group, not B or not C, the purple group across the two edges, B or C or not D, and then the green group right here with the group of 2, not B, or C or D. Uh, let's do uh, another example. This one right here. So this example, let's try to find the largest group. I see a largest group of four right here. So that group of four has B equal one, C equal one, so we'll write that as not B or not C. Another group. Well, these two guys are adjacent to these two guys. So a group of four can be created like that. 
and that group belongs to B equals 0, so B, D equals 1, so not D, so B or not D. So the overall Boolean expression in terms of simplified product of sums is B or not D ended with not B or not C. All right, we'll do one more ex example, and here it is. What's the largest group you see? I see a group of eight. So I see a group of eight right here. And a group of eight is probably the best you're going to get in a four variable Karnam map. This is awesome because this is basically going to mean group of eight is going to mean we'll be able to eliminate three out of the four variables here. So let's create that group. What's common between that group? A changes. A is zero in the top two rows, but one in the bottom two, so A changes. B also changes. C does not change and is equal to a 1. D changes. So since C does not change and is equal to 1, that group of 8 belongs to a single variable, not C. What else do we see? Well, I see 0 here and 0 here. They are adjacent to each other, so that would create a group of 2. But if I look carefully, I actually see that there are 4 corners. That cell that cell, that cell, and that cell are actually adjacent to each other because the K-map is not a flat table. It actually wraps around both top to bottom and left to right, right? So in this case, that corner, that corner, that corner, and the top corner can all create a single group of four. Since it's a group of four, we'll be able to eliminate two variables. So let's take a look what variables do not change across these four cells. Across these four cells, marked by red, I see B is equal to 0. I also see D is equal to 0 in all four of these cells. So that group, corner group, belongs to B or D. So the simplified product of some expression for this particular Carnot map is Y is equal to not C ended with B or D. So we basically looked at four examples of different uh, product of some simplification from Carnot maps.